But yeah, I like for a second, I was like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Hi guys, it's Megan Collins from Style Girlfriend back for another episode of Ask Style Girlfriend. As you guys know, we love mail. We love mail, we love getting mail, we love reader mail. Uh, and we love answering your questions. So send them our way, we will try to answer them here as quickly as possible. Uh, and today, that question is about summer weddings. Obviously we are in full, like full on wedding season which is fantastic. Um, the more the merrier, right? What the world needs now is love, sweet love. That's what I keep hearing. Uh, and Austin wants to know what is the perfect summer wedding look? Which is such a good question. But also, like, is it? Because there's a ton of different kinds of weddings and a ton of different dress codes. I will say that summer weddings have sort of a general theme of afternoon ceremony, Lots of times it's outside and then like dinner and dancing under a tent. So if that's the kind of summer wedding that you're going to, then fantastic, you've got a couple of options. Obviously on the other side of that is like a black tie nighttime thing, in which case wear a tux, obviously. But yeah, so daytime, summer, outdoor-ish wedding. Uh, you can wear just a, a navy or a blue or a gray suit, right? Obviously that's always appropriate. Um, but. I would maybe keep the navy or the gray in your closet and go for that blue suit, right? Kind of somewhere in the middle, something a little bit brighter, a little more festive, a little more summery. Uh, you just, you really can't go wrong with light or bright colors and fabrics in the summer when it comes to anything that's even sort of approaching formal. So I love a blue suit, maybe a knit tie, maybe some brown dress shoes, no socks. Really, I think it's such a great look. Another look is something that is a little bit louder, maybe a patterned, suit, maybe maybe like a patterned or a bold kind of sport coat with, with you know, just pants, dress pants. You know, because you don't have to wear a suit. You can break the rules a little bit. I don't think anybody's gonna be mad at you as long as the fit is really on point, you know, it's tailored, it, it's, uh, you know, kind of hugs close to your body and you look appropriate, you know? Like you're not just pulling random things out of your closet that don't go together. Um, so I would say, yeah, something that is a little bit more, a uh, little bolder or yeah, separate that still really go together and still really fit for uh, the type of event that you're going to. I would also not discount a seersucker suit, honestly. I mean, you don't get that many chances to wear one if you have one, so a summer wedding is a great opportunity. That said, be sure to keep the rest of your look really simple. You definitely don't want to be calling attention to yourself in a way that feels like you're competing with the bride, right? Like you don't want to go full like riverboat <laughs> with your seersucker suit. So just keep the rest of it really simple. White shirt, yes, you could do, um, you know, kind of like a buck shoe that's like traditional uh, with a seersucker suit, but you could also just do like a loafer and that would look nice too. Um, but really, yeah, go think light, think bright, and don't be afraid to, you know, go a little, outside your comfort zone or wear that thing that's in your closet that you never get to wear, because why not? It's a wedding, have fun. Like I said, send us your questions. We love to answer them. I'm Megan Collins from Style Girlfriend. This was Ask Style Girlfriend, and we'll see you again soon. And at that point, you're just wearing the shirt to get to the beach and then you're taking it off anyway.